Are you guys tired of wasting your money on packs? Then check out my sponsor, MMO EXP. They have by far the cheapest Madden 21 coins. And make sure you use code BANGZY for 5% off at checkout as well as use the link in the top of the description. Helps out the channel a lot and I appreciate you boys. Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new and have not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below and turn on post notifications. It's a little bell right there so you guys can be notified every single time I post a new video. So today, uh, obviously series changeover and that also means today we got to do our nat uh nfl or fan or the 50 whatever and uh it's per currently bugged or glitched or something right now because i just went ahead and finished it and uh, i never gave it my pack instead it just gave me 25 coins so i'm hoping that will get fixed i'm, I'm imagining it will be but in this video i'm gonna be pretty much going over uh well who you guys need to be picking it depends on people's teams uh it's not a straightforward like this is the best card pick this one because it really depends on your team and what your budget is looking like how many coins you have and all that good stuff so we're gonna be going into every single thing you guys need to know when it comes to picking your the 50 player so let's go hop right into it uh let me go and hop into the actual the 50 so we can go through all the players uh obviously you guys didn't know you can pick every single one the 91s and the 93s even though i would highly recommend not picking in the 93s they're not very good we're gonna get into why so first thing these two right here vintage jackson Derek brooks do not pick them they are trash vintage jackson he's tall he's too slow Derek brooks he's literally good for nothing so those two definitely don't pick them as you see there's a reason that they're cheapest next one calico calico is one you could actually pick if you need a receiver the only reason I would not pick him is there's a better receiver, in my opinion. But Calico, if you have a Titans theme team or something like that, he's he's still a very good pick. I would not, I, if you picked him, I would see nothing wrong with that. 91 speed off the rip, 90 jump, 91 deep route running, 86 catch. He's really good. He's a really, really good card, but he's pretty cheap. Uh, so I would recommend probably skipping on picking him just for the fact that he is pretty cheap uh, when it comes to the 91s. Next, let's do Jimmy Graham. Do not pick him. He's not a good tight end. Uh, he's really not. I would recommend not picking him. He's just too slow at 84 speed. 6-7 is nice. Uh, and you just get that short route running, and he can get up to that medium route running, but he's just not a good tight end. Darren Waller's way better. Uh, if you have a, I think, Bears, Packers, or... Uh, Saints theme team. You're picking for your theme team. It changely, totally changes who you're picking. Uh, but I would probably recommend not picking Jimmy Graham. Uh, Shazier, great card. Do not pick him up because middle linebackers suck in this game. If it was like Madden 20, this would definitely be a card that most people are probably going to pick. He's just middle linebackers are not good. They don't jump in this game. It's hard to lurk with them. I would avoid Ryan Shazier. Namdi Oswan, a pretty solid corner. Again, if it's for a theme team, go ahead and pick him. The reason I would not pick him, there are a lot better corners in the 50 program. Uh, Reggie White, again, another solid card. Um, I, if you really need a left end and you're an Eagles theme team or something like that, he's a solid card. 76 speed, great block shot, great power, but I think there are better rushers in the program but he's not terrible he's not terrible i would highly recommend not picking him but if you really like to if you really want a uh reggie white i'm not gonna tell you to avoid him walter jones obviously do not pick an offensive lineman all right just don't do it reggie bush this is the first card i would highly recommend picking if you need a halfback is that one just ended the reason i would recommend over ladanian thomas and even though ladanian thomas stats were just a little bit better is the archetypes um Reggie Bush gets backfield master for uh, like a one or two ability points. It's way cheaper in the ability points department. Uh, so I would highly recommend picking up Reggie Bush if you need a halfback. Next, Taylor Mays. I, I would highly strongly suggest someone, you guys need to pick up some Taylor Mays. He is really good. He's really good. 90 zone or 90 speed, 87 zone, 92 hit power, 90 speed, 6'3. Goes on a lot of theme teams. He's really good. He's maybe one of the people I'm picking. I don't really know. Uh, it's different for me because I have a lot of coins. So I'm probably going to pick because I'm picking up a lot of these players. I'm probably going to pick up uh, the one that's most expensive just so I can save the amount of coins. But Taylor Mays is an excellent, excellent, excellent pick. I think he's the, one of the best uh, strong safeties in the game. Brian Dawkins, I would recommend not picking him up. He's just too slow, only 88 speed. Not fast enough for the free safety position at this time. And that's all the 90 to 90. That's all the 91s. Let's go hop in the 92s and 93s. All right, let's see what we got here. If it can load up for us, that'd be great. Uh, again, Albert Hainsworth, not a good pickup at all. You see Anthony Parr is only 223K. There's a reason. He's not a good card. He's just not. He's not a good card. They did him really dirty. Uh, 87 speed is okay. It's nothing spectacular. 88 block shot solid, but can't rush the passer at all. Um, again, linebackers don't jump. Even 6'5", he really does not jump. Change of direction is only 75, and his zone's only a 77. 
so he's really not good at anything. Do not pick up Anthony Barr. I know he's a big name. A lot, most, a lot of people probably are gonna pick up Anthony Barr. Do not do it. He is not worth it. Um, next one, Brett Favre. If you guys need a quarterback, Brett Favre is a good quarterback. But he's not the quarterback you need to pick in this promo. But if you have a theme team of one that he's on, Jets, Vikings, Green Bay, I think those are the only teams he played for. Pick him up. If not, do not pick him up. There's a way better quarterback later on. Uh, next, Antonio Gates. Really don't, don't recommend you guys picking any of the Titans in this. Uh, the reason Antonio Gates, same thing as Jimmy Graham. 6'4". 6'4". I know 6'4". 84 speed. He's not fast enough. He's just not fast enough. Great route running. He's a solid card. If you guys don't want your theme teams, go ahead and pick him up. Again, I'm going to say that a lot. If you have a theme team and you're picking one of the cards, pick up your player. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to stop mentioning theme teams. Next one, Javon Curse. I think this is a solid card. I think this is a very solid card. Uh, the only reason is you see his block shed. It's not the best. His power move is not the best. Finesse is really good, but 87 speed at an end. If you run nickel, 3-4, something like that, you your defense tackle 87 speed. That is very useful. You can put him in a spy. You can make him up on tight ends. He's a very solid card, and I would not... Uh, I, I could see you guys picking him up and being happy with that. I think he is a very solid card. Not top end, but if you really are struggling when it comes to your, uh, your line, your defensive line, pick him up. Steve Hutchinson, again, don't pick up... Um, don't pick up linemen. Vernon Davis. He's fast. He doesn't reach 90 medium route running. There's no way for him to reach it. Don't pick him up. Not worth it. Uh, Patrick Willis. Same thing. Not Middle linebackers are not good in this game. They are not good at this game. If they were, he'd be a great pickup. They are not good. Do not pick up Patrick Willis. Next, Daniel Tomlinson. Again, we've kind of already went over him. Him and Reggie Bush, their stats are very, very similar. Um, Ladamian Thompson has a little bit less catch, a little bit better break tackle, I think a little bit of acceleration and stuff like that, but he's an elusive back. Reggie, Book is, Reggie, Book, Reggie Bush is a receiving back. Receiving backs get better abilities, uh, so I would really recommend picking up Reggie Bush over Ladamian Thompson if you are um, needing a running back. Next, if you need a quarterback, there is no one else you need to pick up than Mr. Dante Culpepper. I think he is the best quarterback in the game, and I don't think it's close between most people. You buy him up, he has 86 speed. 86 speed is very good. You run QB draw off that. You can scramble out the pocket. You don't need um, you don't need escape bars in this game. And then 93 throw power uh, with the strong arm. He can get gunslinger. You get uh, set feet lead. He can power him up. 94 throw power. You can easily get that from like 96, 97. He has great throwing stats. 6'4". He's a big body. He's a great card. If you need a quarterback, Dante Culpepper is your guy. He is your guy. I think he's the one that most people are going to pick up. So if you don't have a lot of coins and you really want a good quarterback, Dante Culpepper is who you need to be picking up. There's no one else you should pick up besides Dante Culpepper. Let's get into the couple ones and the ones I am personally going to be picking. Um, that we keep scrolling down right here. Uh, Antonio Camardi. He's solid. Don't get me wrong. He's a good cornerback. Uh, if he goes on your theme teams, he's amazing. Really good corner, but there's a way better corner. Again, Orlando Pace, don't pick any of the stinking offensive linemen. And that's going to be Dominique Rogers Cromartie. So these are the two, in my opinion, that you can fight between. Julio and Dominique Rogers Cromartie. All right? These are the two. If you need a really good receiver, pick up Julio. If you need someone on defense, I would recommend Do Dominique Rogers Cromartie. 92 speed. Really fast. Yeah, I don't know what theme teams he gets on, but he's 6'2", so he's solid height. He'll get the 90 uh, man and 90 zone. 91 pressers. Nothing this card cannot do. He is probably the best cornerback in the game, in my opinion. Uh, him and Dion, and he can press, so I would put him over Dion. Best corner in the game. He is really good. He's probably who I'm going to pick up unless I pick up uh, someone else. The next one is Julio, uh, who I would recommend. These are probably the two best you can pick up, Julio or Dominic rogers Carmarty. If we go look right here, Julio. The good thing about Julio, his power-up's very, very cheap, which is making me kind of interested in him because his power-up's cheap. Uh, 91 speed is not extremely fast. It's good, but it's not extremely fast. Uh, 6'3", but he has 92 short. He'll have 90 medium, and you could easily give him up to 90 D route running. Uh, 93 jump, really good catching stats. And everyone knows him after the uh, catch is really good. You see with 86 juke, 88 change of direction, and Julio Jones cards just play extremely well. And you don't have to buy some stupid expensive power-up. So those are pretty much all of you guys pick up. I'm probably going to pick up Dominic Rogers Camardi uh, just because I want him on my team. And he's him and Julio are most expensive. And I kind of like other receivers more than Julio. Uh, I might still pick up Julio. If I pick up Julio, if I want to have Julio on my team, I'll probably buy. I'll probably get him 
Uh, no, I'm probably still going to do Dominic Rodgers Kamari because he's, he's like around 500k. So Dominic Rodgers Kamari and Julio, those are the two you guys should probably be picking unless you guys need a quarterback, Dante Culpepper, or if you're picking for your theme team. That's pretty much the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It sucks that the pack's kind of glitched right now and I can't actually show you guys and open it for you guys, but you know, it is what it is. Catch you guys later. Peace.